everyone. Hope you're doing fine. It's been a while. Um, I didn't get back to you. I was kind of busy uh, during the summer, you know, with family and everything. I guess you too. And, uh, you know, traveling around, uh, work, different things, different obligations. But I am coming back to you with something very special today. I recently acquired, after having discussed with a guy um, I met through another relation on Facebook, who introduced me to a private uh, individual in France who happens to have had this game, which I recently acquired. This is an American, so US copy of Metal Slug 2 for the AES that I was very, very, I mean, thrilled to be able to get my hands on to. I've been looking for this game for quite some time now. It's um, it's really relatively hard to find in the US. Uh, I mean, even Japanese copies, you know, you don't see them every day on, on eBay and, and Facebook and so on, but now it's getting even more, I mean, even trickier and trickier and harder for uh, for US copies to be found, especially for this game. I recall there was um, an ad on um, the Neo store in 2013, 2014 for a US copy for sale uh, that was being put on sale for 3500 3, US dollars, if I remember correctly. And um, unfortunately, at the time, I hadn't, you know, uh, taken up the collection again, so I, I clearly passed on it. And um, yeah, I mean, a few years later, I just get in touch with a friend on Facebook who tells me, well, you know, listen, I might know a guy. Basically, he's not planning on selling, but um, given he's seen your channel and he finds you, you know, like an honest uh, collector, uh, really kind of passionate of AES and so on, um, it might be a good idea to get in touch and see what you can do. So I decided to pick up my phone. I called him and... Um, Seems he was just like, you know, a couple hours away from where I was living. So um, first, you know, we got to get to know each other uh, from a distance, like FaceTime and so on. Um, I need also to know the history, a little bit of, uh, I mean, his history as being a collector and obviously the history of the game, uh, which is very special because as you know, this game was launched um, in 1998. Um, and it was uh, released in very small amounts uh, in terms of copies, um, so the print run, due to the fact that uh, at the time they were clearly considering uh, MVS uh, arcade games to be the general cash cow for SNK, and they weren't you know, considering that much, I mean, the AES copies, um, to be interesting, financially speaking, for you know, the Neo Geo. So they um, they actually released this game, but in very small quantities, as much, you know, the Japanese copies as the US copies. And strangely enough, after the absolute hit, you know, that struck the world with Metal Slug 1 in 1996, and, you know, within a couple of months, everybody knew it was kind of launching a new era for the run and gun uh, uh, sequels, uh, you know, and, and types of games. You would have thought Metal Slug 2, they're going to go in for, you know, with like uh, uh, the hard load, like lots of co copies created and so on. But actually, in the end, it happened that uh, they decided not to. And they just launched uh, a few copies, a um, few hundreds of copies, I believe, for the AES, which is very, very small. And um, I would say they're even more scarce, especially in Europe, because in Europe, I believe... Uh, in Paris, you know, they had like a few distributors uh, that were um, that were like uh, sent copies to. And I believe the US copies, I had an anecdote from a friend who recently told me there were only, if I remember correctly, two boxes, two cartons of six units in US that had been shipped, uh, shipped to shops in uh, France. So it kind of gives you an idea how scarce these games are, especially in the European environment, I'd say. So voila, we, um, uh, long story short, so I continue talking with this guy in France and uh, after a few weeks, we ended up um, agreeing on um, a, a financial proposition I made to him because he didn't really have much of uh, a sense of the market, you know, so he was kind of uh, expecting for me to 
uh, to make a first step forward. So I actually, um, I actually made him an offer, which I found pretty correct. Um, I can actually give you the amount if you like contact me in, you know, in, in PM. Um, it's probably more, uh, you know, decent not to reveal it uh, here online directly, but it's, I mean, I think we, we, we found a way to make it uh, like a win-win for both of us. Like uh, he wasn't planning to do anything with it pretty much because he had like, you know, uh, different um, games from different consoles he had gathered within the years. And uh, he had bought this copy in 1999 from a guy who had bought it uh, from Espace 3 uh, in, uh, in Paris, if I believe. It was, you know, at the time of... Uh, like a retro video game shop that doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately, but yeah, that's the way it is. And he he just ke uh, he just uh, kept hold of it, you know, for all the throughout all those years. He's been playing it much, uh, well, much, pretty much. It's like um, it's a gamer's piece, so it's not in you know mint condition, but it's still in really really decent condition. As you can see, it's. Um, it's not faded, which is really good. It uh, the insert itself has been just you know, uh, um, no, it has been relatively well preserved. I'd say there's just probably like a few you know white spots, and probably you know spots from dust or whatever came behind the insert with a, a few pressure marks, but no biggie. I mean it's uh, for this kind of game, it's it's pretty awesome to see it uh, in this condition. I'd say so. Especially the spine, I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but the spine, as to me, with probably with Mark of the Wolves US is one of the classiest spines. Especially the logo, you know, the, they really kept this kind of like metallic, uh, um, yeah, with um, with depth, you know, like a, a typography and with the number two, with, you know, like bullets going through it. I mean, I find it so cool. It's just like, it's so much in the theme, you know, <laughs> and it's uh, it's straight to the point. So yeah, I really love it. It's my personal favorite. Well, easy to say because it's certainly a collector's piece and uh, really nice. So I'm really happy to have it. As you know, I'll, I'll be playing it as well because I'm not only a collector, I like playing and sharing passion with you. So um, I'm just gonna show you quickly the manual. So the manual has been obviously played uh, you can tell it's it's a gamer's copy, you know. Let me take a look at the wear right here, but it's it's really great because you can really tell. I mean, that you know, seeing these instruction manuals in English is something very very uh, uh, rare, I'd say, especially for these kinds of games. And it's so awesome to you know see the instruction booklet for in English for once. For a change, you really um, get uh, a bit more a feel of the flavor of the game itself. You know, the spirit, everything. It's it's just like really nice. And well, I'm not I'm not going to show you every single page, but I'm just going to go through. Uh, yeah, well, especially with those you know illustrations, really nice. They really show um, you know like the origins of the four different characters you can choose from. So there's um, Theo. Eerie, Marco, and Tarma. The different vehicles. You have different vehicles, so you not only have Metal Slug from the first uh, from the first episode, you also have like the um, the plane um, and the sort of uh, Metal Slugoid uh, Metal Slug they call it <laughs> Camel, also really nice, and uh, you know the the classic. Uh, hostages and uh, special lieutenants to free. It's really nice, really nice to see these guys just. And I like also the final page because you just get a little page in color with this beautiful tank going, the battle goes on. And it's really, uh, yeah, it really gives you a, a nice feel of the game. Yeah, I mean, this as a poster, you know, I don't know for you guys, but uh, finding this one as the original promotional poster would look really awesomely nice in the living room. 
I'm definitely trying to, to find one myself. And here we go for the cart. So the cart is really well preserved. As you can see, it's uh, the sticker is in really good condition. Um, hardly no air bubbles. Also, the warning sticker has been, you know, uh, carefully laid on the cartridge. Like, not much to say. You can tell it hasn't been opened. Well, I'm guessing it hasn't because, you know, hardly no crease in the, in the sticker, especially in the middle part. So, um, yeah, that's really nice. And quite few insertion marks. Well, obviously a few, but, you know, not that many. For this type of game, I mean, that's been played and played and played over the years, I think it's really, really uh, a nice copy. And it was actually perfect for my needs because, um, I mean, in order to really appreciate the hardware, you have to be playing your games. Like, of course, you're very cautious. You're probably, I should be handling it with gloves, you know, instead of just with my bare hands, but I don't really mind because I'm just gonna, you know, wipe it very gently after. And um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to share with you this game that you clearly don't, don't see every day and um, that I'm so lucky to add to the Metal Slug collection. I'm just missing right now uh, Metal Slug 4 with classic inserts. Uh, actually, we have I have a common friend who's also looking for Metal Slug 4 classic inserts in order to complete the Metal Slug um, uh, US uh, collection for the AES. And myself, once, well, I've added this one, I just need Metal Slug for a classic insert. And I'll be actually having the two full set of Metal Slugs, both in Japanese and in US. So this is like probably one of my sub goals, which I'm the most looking forward to. And uh, I'll definitely be sharing with you, uh, you know, my, um, my acquisition once the two sets will be complete and just uh, go over it <laughs> and get on to the next mission, which will be probably um, trying to finalize the Japanese full set. So here we go. We're just going to, I'm just going to put the game back in, back in the um, Eclipse case. By the way, these cases are absolutely great. I can only recommend um, purchasing these case these cases. So, uh, I can, I'll probably post in the comments, you know, like a, a link, uh, to the website for the guy who, who sells them. He's in the UAE and they really make great acrylic cases. So they're called Eclipse. So that's high grade, um, acrylic three millimeters, 99.7 light proof, like UV protection. So it's just protection as good as it gets. And you also have a, little, a short little, small little uh, um, cabinet or, you know, like a pouch just for the desiccant uh, pouch to remove humidity. So it's really nice. Et voila. So this is it. I'm just gonna bring this little guy to his shelf. And uh, yeah, I was really happy to share this recent purchase with you. And um, I'll be able to finalize the series of slugs, I hope soon. So I've got like one, two, three, X, five, and I'm just missing the four. And then It'll be over. Double full sets. So, well, hope you liked the video. Please share your comments if you have anything to say. If you also have the game yourself and you'd like to share some experience you've had and so on, I'd be um, more than happy to discuss with you. And um, till then, enjoy the Neo Geo. Share the passion. Share some videos, reviews, whatever. And uh, I'll get back to you soon. Okay? Thanks. Bye.